In episode 2 of Conflicts on Sites Populated by Children, we cover GoAnimate. GoAnimate is known for its low-quality animations, which feature text-to-speech voices and robotic-looking character motion. They commonly feature characters from children's cartoons, such as Dora the Explorer or Caillou. The site has had a moderately large amount of popularity, being around the 2015th most popular site in the world as of late March 2019, and around the 10,530th most popular site in the United States as of the same date, using the data from Alexa's current domain to beyond.com. According to Google Trends, the site is currently at around one-third of the popularity that it was at during its peak in mid-2015. Any site with a moderately large amount of popularity is bound to have some sort of drama or controversy on it. Go anime drama is unique in that it predominantly involves factions, albeit heavily disorganized ones. A user is said to be a member of a faction when they add its acronym to the end of their username. I have found around 80 of these such groups, only about 30 of which I could find the long form name of. A method users used to attack others was making videos in which the target user is grounded for a usually ridiculously long amount of time, as punishment for the target user's usually odd or amoral action. The oldest known, earliest known, and most infamous group is the UTTP, or the YouTube Troll Police. According to the Urban Dictionary, it was created by either a member of a hacking group known as Ares, or an individual named Ares. It was apparently used as a puppet by the group or person to attack its rival, in which it was involved in a turf war with, and was given targets by a fictional character named Tommy Parkey. After the group won the war, the UTTP was given independence and was given to an individual named South Park Studios Abel. The group then became an anti-trolling organization. The group went around YouTube attempting to trick trolls into believing they would be prosecuted. One of the group's earliest activities involved harassing the owner of a YouTube channel known as All Babies Are Atheists, using an image of his granddaughter as a banner on various channels, and attacking many of his friends and acquaintances. As many of you know, I've been beset by this one particular troll, who originally went through Blog TV's Sadistic Penguin, if any of you go there, and then he's on YouTube, known by many names. Uh, his name, according to what I've been able to find, is Tommy Parkey, or Tom Parkinson. And he has gone by Glenn Watson from Canada. He's gone by uh, All Babies Are Atheist One is now. He does one. Atheists Love the Pope. Um, all Bab or Atheists Are Rapists. Uh, he's gone by Mr. Tom Parkinson. He's gone by The Dance Monster, Lisa Nova 2010, uh, Mr. Captain Hollywood, Mr. Jesus Christ Channel. Um, he has gone by pretty much, Mike, uh, like basically he has gone through uh, at least that I'm aware of about 20 different channels, probably more, that have been specifically to attack me. And I will put screenshots of the ones that are still in existence. I've had Eventually, Ares would create the Purple Helmet Avenger YouTube channel to fight the group after discovering one of its videos on YouTube. Around the same time, in 2011, the VGCP, or the Video Game Cartoon Police, was founded. It is unclear who founded the group, but an individual named Officer Luigi is speculated to be its founder. It was created in order to fight the UTTP, similar to many organizations that would be formed in the following years. Many groups were created by GoAnimate users in order to fight the UTTP, many consisting of very few users. Most were likely forgotten, and little information exists for the vast majority of these groups. In this video, I will only be documenting the major groups that participated in these conflicts. In 2014 and 2015, there is a resurgence of GoAnimate groups. Between 2011 and 2014, most conflict involved grounding videos and battles in comment sections, but afterwards, the conflict suffered on a new dynamic. One of the UTTP's final actions as an anti-fandom organization was in May of 2015 when it declared war on the Five Nights at Freddy's fandom. In 2016, the UTTP underwent a civil war between a group backed by PHA and an individual known as Steven Larson. PHA was assisted by a group known as Troll Punisher Ninja Gear, another anti-trolling organization that was founded either in 2014 or 2015. A private hacking community that was locally based on Google Plus or Google Groups was also created. Some of its members collected Larson's personal information and forwarded it to a school and local police department. Larson went silent and later his forces surrendered, resulting in the Troll Police's legislature, the High Council, being replaced with PHA and his allies. Around the same time, the VGCP underwent the change in leadership, being under the control of a group known as the Anti-Duncan League. Other groups arose during this time, such as the Everyday Cartoon Police and the Nightday Cartoon Police. In 2015, the site was updated, resulting in backlash from the user base. Some groups were made to fight the site's owner, Alvin Hung, and some were made to defend him. This caused another conflict to occur on the site. By this time, it is likely most groups are based on Google+. As for the current whereabouts for a large number of these groups, their lack of organization makes them difficult to track down. The UTTP seemed to be based mostly in a Google Plus group, and considering I started working on this mere days before its shutdown, it will most likely be based on a Discord server.
The UTTP's current operations seem to involve fighting against holdouts from the war against Larson, as well as fighting against a group known as the Integra Good User Alliance, a splinter group that grew out of the VGCP. The group's current aims seem to be fighting against trolls and predators on Google+. GoAnime grounding videos have been known for a long time, and entire cringe compilations have been made consisting of them. The GoAnimate war is relatively obscure compared to it, similar to the obscurity of the Club Penguin armies compared to Club Penguin as a whole. That, combined with the fact many channels involved here have most likely been terminated by their respective services due to terms of service violations made research difficult. The fact that I started writing the script for this video mere days before Google Plus is slated to shut down did not do me any favors either. Many facts presented here from the various Go Animate related wikis, and considering the fact that many of the users who wrote them most likely had some sort of bias towards one group or another, clouded information further. In fact, the TPNG's Google Plus page and her dictionary definition claims that they have never lost any internet war.